have a happy holiday. Hello everybody and welcome to this amazing discussion of Dead by Daylight. I've had a bit of time off, but that hasn't stopped any of us from taking a look at the new killers, the Legion, and trying to figure out more about them. Over the time, several people came to the conclusion that they're pretty weak and a bit lackluster. Several suggestions from all around have been thrown out in attempts to figure a way to fix them, and honestly, I'm here to discuss why I don't believe we can fix the Legion. Legion's design is a unique one, being several different lore-based characters under the same name. Even able to change the voices of this character by using the cosmetic bodies makes this an interesting one for sure. I've even considered this killer fun for a time until I realized that Legion is fun not because of how they play, but because they're something new and fresh. And for me, it's always fun with a new experience. I returned to the PTB to test them out some more, and play around with their power. I've learned a few bits of tech which were interesting, but since the power itself was so lackluster in terms of actually killing survivors, it didn't matter what fancy spins I could put on the movement if the power itself doesn't kill anybody. Fun quickly evaporated and turned into frustration as I found issues with almost everything I was originally having fun with. The release of this killer got me thinking back to the last time I talked about Spirit before her release. I made a video called A Killer Confirmed Week which gave speculation that Spirit would be weak even before she was teased. Though I met with some heavy negative lashback, I would later be proven right. Spirit was released weak, and she required three separate buffs to gain her viability that she has today. Now while playing Legion for this discussion, I began to realize that he's really similar to the Spirit. Like, eerily similar as if it is truly the same power, just with a few alterations in its properties. They feel opposite of each other while using the same power, similar to Hillbilly and Leatherface, both chainsaws, both using them to insta-down, but obviously with the different properties of one hits multiple while the other one has amazing mobility and utility built in. He has a power that requires to be charged, does a dash for a duration, but so does the spirit. The only difference is Legion doesn't go invisible, and neither do the survivors. Instead, he can't see scratch marks and isn't supposed to hear noises from survivors, which is a similar effect of spirit, but literally the opposite, as she has to rely on hearing survivors while looking at scratch marks, and he has to look at survivors while losing the ability. It's just awkward that we just got the spirit, and now we're getting a killer that has the same power, but just opposite effects? Of course, the vaulting effect and deep wound mechanic is a nice twist to the power, but it would be these two effects that give us issues for this killer. In order to balance the fact that he can ignore the defenses of survivors by literally just jumping over pallets and applying a debuff that could ultimately down a survivor given enough time, they had to implement a lot of weaknesses to the Legion that make him a weaker killer. I feel it is important that we look back at a clip of my video, Killer Confirmed Week, so that you can keep this information kind of in the back of your mind as we go over the killer's power. But that's the thing also, is whenever we create killers, I mean, not every time we're gonna make a killer that's actually gonna reach the, the high level play. Like people sure. rank one will sure. not necessarily say this is a viable killer to play against other rank ones and being in the top, like, 1% yes, uh, of players. Mm -hmm. This is not always the case. Most of the time when we try to create a killer, we're saying, is this gonna be fun for the killer? And is it gonna be fun to play right, against? Right. And is it gonna be something new in the game? It's a bit odd they'd go out of their way to mention this, as I would think the focus is for a dynamic and fun power that interacts with survivors in a way that makes it fun for both killer and survivor, as they said. However, it seems to become a bit skewed by them focusing on a fun factor that it does not apply to killers like me, killers of a high rank. This clip remains relevant as it did then, like it does now. This clip is the public statement of their design philosophy, and even the most recent developer stream kinda still went over that. This means that this is how they design all killers, and many, many tried to tell me that this was only how they designed Freddy, but that isn't the case, as it was reiterated that the developers are not looking to make powerful killers such as Nurse and Hillbilly, they are looking to make fun killers for both survivors and killers to play for and against. The issue with this is that you really can't just design a killer for fun, as many people don't see fun as the same thing. 
It's a very subjective term. What these developers find fun may not be fun for me, and vice versa. Weak killers are definitely not very fun for me, a player at rank 1 who can't use them often because they don't perform well. I especially don't have fun as I get frustrated with the limitations of what I can do simply because of the killer I picked. And based on what the dev said, yeah, if I want to play at rank 1, I'm going to play Hillbilly or Nurse, but I don't want to. That is not fun to play two killers for two years. I would like to have an option. I love Myers, he's fantastic, but I ultimately admit that Hillbilly and Nurse are the two killers to play at rank 1 if you want to have a good equal chance against survivors of an equal skill level. Now while we know their design philosophy, keep that in mind as we go over the Legion's power. Starting off, they made it that his power is non-lethal, meaning all damage from this power cannot at any point down a survivor. However, it does damage the deep wound meter, which the deep wound can down the survivor if it would drain the meter to zero. However, this is the effect of deep wound and not the strike from frenzy. We know this because the power itself does not work like a basic attack and apply no ed or any exposed effect on the survivor meaning we know that Deep Wound is just running out due to us striking them and that's just the timer's effect. Next, the power bar is set to zero if a basic attack is used to harm a survivor. This one makes no sense to me, as the power is set to be non-lethal, and even if the killer were to use his power after a strike, he would still have to make chase after the hit into Deep Wound, and this just seems to limit an already limited power, as this does not allow for mid-chase changes. If you strike a survivor first, you are stuck without your power, and they don't have Deep Wound, and you can't apply Deep Wound, therefore it really limits your strategy. Now onto the core mechanic, which is Deep Wounds. This is a great idea in terms of applying something lethal to several people at once, as the power itself hinges on this. Hell, the power even reveals survivors who are not affected to help you apply the effect. Yet, even this effect is weak as you can cleanse it yourself as a survivor very quickly, and is not affected by any anti-healing perks, or even for the tracking of Nurse's Calling. The progress on mending deep wounds is also saved as it does not need to be done at once, not to mention the timer doesn't tick down in the middle of a chase, meaning that if Legion hits and runs as his power suggests so the timer starts ticking down, the survivor just stands still and recovers with no threat to them as they don't need to do anything but hold M1. There's actually no value to applying deep wounds without you f making sure that deep wounds downs the survivor, meaning that you don't hit multiple survivors, you chase one and make sure that timer goes down by not actually chasing them, but kind of proximity following them so that the timer keeps ticking, they keep moving because they can't mend or you'll get too close and hit them. The issue with this is it doesn't work as intended. It is incentivized for you to apply it to as much people as possible as the power does refresh, but the deep wounds just isn't a power worth using since it's negligible unless you continue to chase the one person you apply it to. It was clear that this killer was designed with a function that answers a lot of issues that killers would normally call for. Vaulting a pallet and punishing survivors? Sounds great. However, this brings me back to the time when Freddy was also a unique in punishing a killer except that his power was swiftly met with equal, if not more, countermeasures to make sure that he would not be too overbearing on survivors. Here I believe we've come into a similar issue, except now we have Legion who does what Spirit does, but can't do it lethally and is far more predictable. So can we fix the Legion? There are several suggestions out there and here are a few of my own. First, it seems to be a fair idea to grant the killer a 115% movement speed as he would be as lethal as any base killer but also have the interesting power to complement and change his style of play. The issue with this though is realistically his power is obviously not that strong and we'd simply use it to possibly stop a vaulting window, maybe put an early injury on and then just use the 115% movement speed to chase him down. Ultimately, it takes away any of the uniqueness of this killer if we do that, and I believe is the laziest fix we could do. 
My personal suggestion would be that survivors can mend themselves, but that would only fill the wound bar back up, and requires an ally to remove the actual effect. Additionally, we should adjust the timer to be around 30 seconds to give survivors the opportunity to work on gents, but also have to stop to mend themselves before dying. This should cause survivors to waste a bit of time between each mending and leave them vulnerable if they get caught out. This would also avoid dooming the final survivor as they could potentially mend themselves when needed and find the hatch without issue. The biggest issue with deep wounds right now is that for Legion to apply it to multiple survivors really doesn't do anything. Why would you afflict multiple survivors if the ones you're not chasing just remove it from them in seconds? Either way, if you look at all the changes, there's two outcomes. So far I've seen that even the most minor number alterations have massive impacts. Either the Legion's going to be way too strong and then we understand why he came out so weak, or he's just going to continue to be laughably weak. This becomes the next Freddy situation. We have a killer who is noticeably weak, but by tweaking the numbers, you may not give survivors the proper counterplay they need to have fun. Freddy himself couldn't be tweaked with numbers since he would do about the same. This could be why we're going to see a complete rework of his power, an introduction of a new Freddy, one that has taken over a year to confirm its release and we're still not going to see it till early 2019, but whether or not it's completely new we'll see, but it definitely isn't something you could just change a few digits on. The true issue here with Legion is not exactly his movement speed, his vaulting power, or even the tracking power, but it's the actual effect of Deep Wound. This is the core concept to the power that holds no ground. And when Freddy gets his update, it's going to hurt to have to say that Legion could end up as the worst killer of Dead by Daylight. Why not give purpose to his deep wound? Why not make it something like a stacking effect that plays off at the end? As an example, what if you could apply a debuff to survivors called deep wound that reduced action speed of healing, generators, and sabotage? It would then require an ally to mend the effect off. This would also assume we remove the timer and allow it to be stackable, so you can apply worse wounds to a single survivor, giving purpose to this non-lethal attack but something that still rewards you as a killer for applying to multiple people. Just find a way to give Deep Wounds the true mechanic of this power, purpose. If you look at it, Deep Wounds lacks purpose just like Freddy's sleep does. Putting multiple people to sleep is fantastic, slows them all down, but then you realize you really only keep one asleep at a time. The others fail skill checks to wake up, except these survivors don't need RNG, they just need to sit there and go through a bar. It really is that simple. If you break it down like that, it is very simple. There's no purpose of hitting multiple survivors other than causing them to heal. And that's fantastic, but survivors are not going to be blessed on their altruism against this killer. Just like the shape, you're not going to be altruistic. When you know it's the Legion, you're going to stay away from allies. And unfortunately, that dampens the strategy that Legion has and again kills the purpose of Deep Wounds because why would you apply Deep Wounds to the person you're chasing if Deep Wounds protects them from your power since you gotta hit them multiple times. This is why I believe Legion can't be fixed. His power revolves around this Deep Wound effect and because of it he has no purpose. Vaulting pallets and windows has an amazing purpose which is to catch survivors but then you apply Deep Wounds instead and that actually stops you from catching survivors, making the vaulting itself lose all of its purpose. And with that, it really just comes down to purpose. And I really hope that Legion does find that purpose. And I hope they get the same balanced treatment Spirit did, receiving buffs as needed to turn them from a weak killer to a well-balanced one. And what do you guys think? Do you believe that the Legion's power just needs a little number tweak, or do you feel those tweaks might even be too much? Would you rather they moved away from the deep wound mechanics, or have you found the Legion's purpose? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you all for watching, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, good game.